It has happened. We've had a handful of Lego sets that were supposed to retire in 2024 get pushed into 2025. And there are 12 sets that were supposed to retire this year that are moved into next year and will no longer be retiring in the next couple of months. And these 12 sets span four different themes, but seven of the 12 sets are Star Wars sets. A handful of them are actually some of the big investment bets for this year from a lot of people. But it's not all bad news because in addition to those 12 sets that got pushed into next year, we actually had a handful of sets that got brought forward and will now be retiring in 2024, even though they weren't supposed to be retiring this year, the dates have changed. And actually there are more sets that were brought forward than were pushed out. There were 17 sets brought forward into 2024. So the total number of retiring sets this year is actually gone up with these changes. Changes. And there are some changes in terms of bringing sets forward into 2024 that I think are super interesting and some sets that I might invest in now that I know that they're actually retiring this year. Now, as always, when we're talking about retirement dates, we need to always be aware that the information is subject to change and also that it doesn't come directly from the Lego group. So a lot of this information comes from different leaks and different sources, and we gotta be aware of that. Now, the leaker of these recent changes was BrickTap, so I do gotta say thank you to them for sharing this with the community. So let's just jump in. We've got the 501st Clone Troopers. Battle packs, they can be incredible investments. These are low price sets that are great for army building, and we have customers buying multiples of them, which can really lead to a lot of demand out there. Uh, but the 501st Clone Troopers got pushed out it was supposed to retire this year in 2024, and now it's scheduled to retire in 2025 in December. So this is the first on the list. It's a $20 set. You can often get it discounted. Would have been one that I would have heavily been considering investing in. Unfortunately, has now been pushed out. Now, we still have the 332nd Battle Pack. Uh, that's the Ahsoka one. There is still that Battle Pack that you could consider as an investment. That is still on the list to retire at the end of 2024. We will see if that remains to be true. Uh, but 501st Clone Troopers has been pushed into next year. Next up, we have a helmet set. This is Darth Vader's helmet. Now, this is going to catch a lot of people off guard and a little bit surprising. Um, I made a video recently where I talked about this set and whether or not I thought it was going to be a good investment for this year. And the verdict that I gave on this set was that I thought it was going to be a little bit underperforming what people expected of it. Uh, and the reason I said that is because this is a set that's like a sleeper in most people's view. And for that reason, I think that the supply on this set might be a little bit high in the aftermarket. A lot of LEGO investors and collectors are out there buying Darth Vader's helmet because the helmet series has been pretty good so far. But Darth Vader, of course, being one of the most popular and important characters that we've seen uh, in helmet form. And so a lot of investors think that that means this is going to be the best investment out of the bunch, in my opinion, Actually, the opposite is true. I feel like sometimes the most popular characters can actually be worse performers um, because the supply will be greater. And um, sometimes some of the kind of less common characters can actually uh, do a surprise us and do you know the best when it comes to values going up, like TIE Fighter Pilot uh, outperforming Boba Fett's helmet, for example. Yeah, that's what I look for when I think about uh, which one of these do I want to invest in. I'm more excited about some of the others than I am about Darth Vader's helmet. Does that mean it's not going to be a great investment? It could absolutely be a good investment, but it has been pushed into 2025. So whether you were thinking about buying it or not, the dates have moved. So this is not retiring this year any longer. Um, and will this impact the current lineup of helmet series sets and how should we think about investing in those sets? There are still two that are retiring this year. We've got Cody and we've got the Leia Bush helmet. Both of those are still scheduled to retire in 2024 and I will be considering them and looking at them closer throughout the year. So Darth Vader's helmet has been pushed into next year. We also have the Executor Super Star Destroyer. Now, I'm disappointed in this one. I'm disappointed to see this set get moved into next year. And the reason for that is because it would be the first of these new kind of series of uh, displayable ships, these micro scale ships to retire. And I was really excited to see what was gonna happen in retirement with this set because it would really kind of set the bar for what we might expect to see from this series of sets. Uh, but this one has been pushed out. The reason it was pushed out is likely because of sales volume being high. That is why Lego Group makes these decisions. They look at the dates and they think, how can we make the most money possible? Even though Lego Group tried to come across as this company that just wants the best for everybody and uh, you know they're, they're kind of all perfect company, 
Uh, reality is they are a business that want to make profits and at the end of the day this set was likely making a lot of profits for them and they, so they pushed it out into next year they want to keep the wheel churning on it and that is the case for all of these sets whenever you see retirement dates moved out it likely means that the economics of producing that set and continuing to produce that set is strong and that is of course why we've seen sets like london and new york skyline architecture sets on the shelves for years and years and years these sets are selling by the truckload and so they don't want to retire them and uh, that's like what we're seeing with a handful of these different sets likewise if we see sets getting brought forward and they were supposed to retire next year and now they're retiring this year that likely means that the economics are not as strong as lego group wanted them to be and maybe the profitability of continuing to produce those sets into next year is not what they want and so they want to retire it early in most cases that is the likely cause of a lot of those sets uh, being brought forward so we need to kind of keep that stuff in mind when we're thinking about the impact of these things so executor super star destroyer pushed into next year this is a 70 dollars set at 630 pieces i love these kind of new displayable ships when it comes to star wars sets and displaying them on a shelf i'm a fan because it is kind of less focused on playing and less focused on the minifigs and stuff and it's more focused on putting it on a shelf and looking cool and i think star wars lends itself so nicely to that approach we get it with the helmet series we get it with the dioramas we get it with the ucs sets in a lot of cases with the exception of some of the highly playable ones like ewok village and death star and we get it with these uh, micro scale ships so I'm still excited to see what's going to happen with this one, but as an investment, I will not be considering it this year anymore because the dates have been pushed out. Next up, we have Ghost and Phantom 2. This is a $160 uh, set, um, 75357, 1,394 pieces. It's not one that I was heavily considering. I think the price point on it is a little bit high for my taste in terms of the, the perceived value I don't think that this set looks like a hundred and sixty dollar set when you compare it with others in that similar price point uh, there are a handful of different things that I'm not a big fan of about this set it is exclusive to Amazon in the US which can help in terms of um, how many are manufactured but we haven't seen previous Amazon exclusive sets perform nearly as well as other exclusives, such as Lego Store exclusive, Target exclusives, and Walmart exclusives. So it doesn't get me that excited. And also, it's possible that Amazon have a lot of stock of it in retirement and all of those things. So I'm not really too fussed about this set getting pushed into next year because it is not one that I was considering anyway. But I know some of you out there are buyers of this set. So what do you think about this getting pushed into next year? So next up, we have the Coruscant Guard gunship, this $140 version of that gunship, 1,083 pieces and five minifigures, including a unique version of Palpatine in the kind of politician robes. Uh, I like this set. It's a nice version of the gunship, and it's not often we really get those lower price versions of this. Uh, we've had the UCS Republic gunship, of course. Um, I think it has a good a bit of, I like the amount of detail. I like the way the set looks, but it also has the kind of playability factor it's a nice looking set do i know for sure that i would have invested in it not exactly because i really would need to look more at things like the supply and demand data but in my opinion um it definitely has a lot of potential but not this year because now it's been pushed into 2025 next up we have the tie bomber this is a 65 uh 625 piece set with three minifigures also pushed into next year we have Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter, this $30 set. And I know there are some disappointed people out there with this one. And this is, of course, the Attack on the Clones uh, set. And this character right here, whose name I forget, I don't believe this character has ever been in a Lego set before. Correct me if I'm wrong about that in the comments, but I think this is actually the first appearance of this character from Attack on the Clones, uh, which, in my opinion, is a pretty big deal. A uh, $30 set, I like the price point, I like the look of the ship, I think they've done a good job for the price point that it is. You could, of course, get it for probably $22, $24, uh, 282 pieces, but retiring in 2025 now. So it is no longer a candidate for investing, in my opinion. Next up, we have a Speed Champion set, and this is another disappointing one to me. Too Fast, Too Furious, 
Nissan Skyline GTR. Now we just saw the two fa or the Fast and the Furious Dom's Dodge Charger Speed Champion set retire at the end of 2023, and it was available for 15 or 16 dollars before retirement. It is now selling for 45 dollars on Amazon or close to it, somewhere between 40 and 45, and the price kind of is moving. So we're talking about a substantial price increase on Dom's Dodge Charger, a great investment just within a couple of months. So I know people are going to be looking at the Nissan Skyline as a potential investment, or at least they would have been if it had not got pushed into next year. Uh, it is a higher MSRP. It's a $25 set as opposed to a $20 set. We are now coming to the point where Speed Champion sets are more expensive and the ones retiring are more expensive. And so I'm curious how that's going to impact values over time. Um, will they perform as well? I do prefer that $20 purchase price or MSRP. Uh, but the $25, will it grow the same level? It remains to be seen. But it's a little bit disappointing that we're not going to get this one as an investment this year. Too Fast, Too Furious, Nissan Skyline. Next up, we have some Harry Potter with the Hogwarts Express and Hogsmeade Station set getting extended into next year. And like I've said in a handful of different videos, Lego Group are always going to want a Hogwarts Express available on the shelves. Right now, they've got two. They've got the expensive $500 version, and then they've got this one for kind of more playability and a younger audience, $130 set with a handful of minifigs. And they don't want this to go yet because it's doing well. So they're keeping it around. $130, 1,074 pieces. For me, it wasn't going to be an investment anyway. I just think this set... These sets in general, Hogwarts Express sets, are too much candidates for re-release and there's a kind of a lot of saturation in terms of options out there for these sets. So I'm not going to invest in this set and I don't really mind that it's been extended, but I know there are some fans out there. We ha also have the Flying Ford Anglia. Now this is a low priced $15 set this is 165 pieces important scene from the second harry potter book and movie and a 15 dollar purchase price in my opinion gives this set some runway to grow in price a uh, really low price set sometimes can actually be pretty good investments and i think we might see the same thing with this one because uh, there is space for the, the price to grow if you can get it for 10 to 12 dollars do I see the price getting to 30 on Amazon? Absolutely. At that point, you're almost doubling your money. Uh, however, not this year. It's been pushed out into 2025. And then we have some city sets with Space Science Lab, a $35 space-based set, 560 pieces. And then we have the Fire Rescue Plane, a $55 set. This is a beautiful looking rescue plane, by the way. 478 pieces in the box, uh, $55 purchase price. Both of those city sets also extended into 2025. So with that, let's just jump in and talk about some of the sets that have been pulled forward into next year. And I've got a list here. This time I'm just going to go through in Excel because there's another 17 different sets here. Uh, so we're going to jump in and do it pretty quickly here. So these are sets that were supposed to retire later and have been brought forward uh, and are now retiring in 2024. So we have a Lego icon set is our first one here. And just so you know what we're looking at here, we've got the set in column A. We've got the old date in column B and the new date in column C. The old dates are 2025 mostly and the new dates are 2024. This year, a lot of these sets have been brought forward. So we have icons. This is the botanical set, the dried flower centerpiece. This botanical set and we've only had one botanical set that's retired so far that is the birds of paradise i think it's interesting that we're going to see another one disappear it is likely due to less sales on this set than some of the other peers in the botanical lineup botanical sets are selling like crazy in general um but the dried flower centerpiece likely has less sales than some of the others and so lego group want to uh, stop selling they want to um retire this a little bit earlier so it is retiring in december 2024 which will be interesting to see what's going to happen with the value of the second botanical set to retire. We have a dream set. This is Mr. Oz's space car, 71475, brought forward into 2024. We have the Lego art set. This is the Fauna collection, 31211, brought forward into 2024. We have a Duplo, visit to the vet clinic. We have creative color fun. This is a classic uh, box of bricks type set. We have a Lego friend set with the electric car and charger. We have a Minecraft set with the fourth version of the crafting box, 21247. Uh, four nine i should say we have the disney celebration train that is going to be uh, interesting to some people out there 
retiring in 2024. We have the Marvel Wolverine Claw. So this is the Marvel Superhero 76250 Wolverine's Adamantium Claws. Uh, paired nicely with the Captain America Shield and the Thor's Hammer that already retired. That is now retiring in 2024. We have Hulk vs. Rhino Truck Showdown. Marvel Superheroes 10782. We have the Lego Ideas The Office. Now retiring in 2024. 21336. Now, with this one, I think it's interesting because we have had a handful of other sitcom-based sets, like the Friends sets and like the um, the Seinfeld set, and we've seen some strong performance out of these sets so far. Now, The Office is a very, very popular TV show, so I'm curious about this one and how this performs in retirement. We had the Nano Gauntlet here. This is the Marvel Super Heroes 76223. We have Bell's Storytime Horse Carriage from the Disney theme 43233. We have the Space Research Rover from the Lego Friends theme. We have the Penguin Family Snow Adventure from the Super Mario theme. We have the Dory's Sunken Shipwreck Adventure from the Super Mario theme. And then we have a Ninjago theme here with Lloyd's Elemental Power Mech. I love those mech Ninjago sets. So in total here for sets being brought forward, we have 17. 17 sets now retiring in 2024 that previously were not. A handful of different themes are covered here. We have icons, we have dreams, we have art, we have Duplo, classic, friends, Minecraft, Disney, Marvel, ideas. There is a lot of span here and Super Mario as well. So um, we're talking about a handful of different themes. In terms of sets getting pushed out from 2024, we only had four themes. That was Star Wars, Harry Potter, City, and Speed Champions. But now we're talking about a lot of different themes when it comes to sets getting brought forward into 2024. Some of these sets, I think, could be really, really solid investments, and they will have shorter shelf life than planned because of these changes. And I'll be looking more at these sets throughout the year and building up my hit list of sets that I will be investing in this year with the intention of the values growing. And if you want to learn more about how to build a business with Lego investing. I've got a free guide in the description down below. You can click that link and grab that free downloadable guide and that will help you get started. So with that, thank you so much for being here. I'm Shane from brickbox.net and make this your year to lift off and be free.